Hello, guys. What is going on, I guess? I had somebody ask me what my render settings were. And let's see if I can find it. Yeah, it's this guy. White boy awesome. Seems like a pretty cool guy. So I decided to make a video for him. Yep, there you go. That's it right there. But the... Da, 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 the question and if you haven't seen this yet go watch it I think I did pretty well I'm pretty proud of it I might place top three <laughs> but uh yeah if you want your quality to be like that looks pretty good but that's in an awkward spot like that there you go on YouTube you follow these settings or find your own or get lost but, yeah, I should have opened this before I started recording. That would have been a good idea. And sorry, there's a little static in the background. I'm a little too lazy to use Audacity and take it out. I'm just recording it through Camtasia. But, you know, stuff happens. Boom. Here it is. I had some pre compception going on up in here. I had a pre comp inside of a pre comp inside of a pre comp. It was going crazy. Look at that. And another one. Oh my god, so many. <laughs> Got this pre comp and that comp, this one and that 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 one. Pre compception is pretty intense. Okay, anyway, back to what this video is about. <clears throat> if you don't even know how to render, Wait, it got quiet there. That was weird. If you don't even know how to render with After Effects, ooh, almost same spot. Oop, 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 don't crash. Don't do it. Don't crash. I actually just turned my computer back on. So it's a little downsy right now. If you don't even know how to render, what you gotta do is go up to, uh, or select your composition. Go up to composition up here and hit add to render queue. And I'll add it to here. You pick your settings, which I will show mine in a minute. But <clears throat> in order for you to get motion blur, like good motion blur, as seen in a spot somewhere in here, like there, I guess. Right there, it looks pretty good, makes it look smoother on YouTube instead of it looking like it's 30 FPS, like it is. It'll look like it's probably 45 or so. So it, it looks better. You can use... Um, this plugin called Real Smart Motion Blur. From the same people who made Twixter. And you throw it on there like I already have. Whoops, gotta go find a clip. Wait, oh, here we go. Okay. It looks like... They are all being shown, so anyway. The best settings I found are uh, 0.5 and 100. 0.5 blur amount, 100 sensitivity. And yeah, you can screw around with that. And also, a good thing to have is magic bullet looks, which is how I have the purple and the green up here. Click it. <coughs> It'll open up crap like that. The quality looks bad in here. You don't have to worry about it, but yeah. And I have presets, which I can upload if wanted. They actually look kind of cool. Can't really see crap, but you know. Uh, yeah. I used Fruity for this one. B -b -b it's uh, one of my presets. I didn't make it. Credit goes to whoever made it. I don't remember who I got it from. Somebody made it, and I use it, and it's very nice. But uh, yeah, there's real smart, real smart motion blur. And there's also CC Force Motion Blur, which also looks nice, but it takes a crap ton longer to load, or to render. It's it's good looking, but good god, it takes so long to load. Render, not load, damn it. Why is that there? Whatever. Okay, so get out of this pre comp section. And then I went to my comp. Here are the actual render settings, like what... uh. The white boy was asking. Not 7th Street. Definitely not 7th Street. But you know. 
So what I did is I went to Output Module, clicked on it, and switched the format from... I think it starts... Mine always comes up as a TIFF sequence to start with for some reason. But I switch it to H.264. Go to Format Options. I set to four of my uh, Devil's Edits OCE, I guess, TCE video. I put it to 10 and 13. But I normally record in 1080p, so I set this to like 15 and 18 as the maximum. And if you don't see this, you might be on CBR. So VBR one pass, 15 to 18. But if it's like 720, I always do 10 to 13 for OCEs and stuff. For like Let's Plays, I do like 6 to 8, or 8 to 10. Oop, 10, something like that. But, uh... 10 to 15, is that what I said? No, like 13 to 15, whatever, I forget. Anyway, I do something around there. It has to do with uh, like low 10s and high 15s. And sorry if you could hear the fan before. That was my secondary computer. It's loud as hell. Make sure you get audio checked if you have audio in it. And then I go to best settings. If you have a graphics card that supports, or the, a, a CUDA, enabled graphics card if that's even how you pronounce it like I do like and you can tell by going to Nvidia control panel I think it's Nvidia that has it I don't know if any AMD uh, graphics cards do or not but I know a lot of Nvidia ones do but you can check by going here and give it a second recording doesn't help wait there we go it says cut a GPUs GeForce GTX 550 Ti, right there. It'll show it right there. Do not apply. I didn't change anything. Not you, Camtasia. Not you, Mixcraft. After Effects. There we go. Okay. But then, if you have Cuda, then use OpenGL. If not, don't use it. And I think I rendered in 59.54. I normally do, just to be sure it'll look good, but you really don't need it. 29.97 is what YouTube videos are compressed to. So you might just want to do that, especially if you have a slower computer. But mine renders pretty quickly. And then this, obviously, save wherever. And... Uh, I think that's about it. What's this? Oh. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Let me go through it real quick. I should have thought about this before. I did anything. And if you record with like an HD PVR or Fraps, 5.1. Use 5.1 audio. And I do believe that is it. Oh, and be sure this here, this little work area, is, uh, oops, I would, is, uh, at the end of your video and you can snap it there by holding shift and dragging to it if I clicked on it there we go and you can do the same thing with like keyframes and all that like come on there we go okay hold shift and click and there it is it just snaps to it Oop. and it'll snap to the start too for sound but yeah just throw that in there so yeah the blur looks really nice. Let's see if I can find something real quick. That might do it. Yep. Yep. See, he's all blurred with his hands and it just makes it look a lot smoother and, and cleaner. The text that flies in blurs a bit. And, uh, yeah. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Hope this helps your videos. Bye-bye.